Hey guys, so in today's video, I get Jonah adapted, but there's a little seasoning on the side here. Uh, let's just say our killer has a little bit of a tougher match and ends up leaving a little bit before the game's over. Ironically, we had a game just before this match that I'm about to react to, where uh, the killer actually left after being looped for two or three pals, so I'm by myself by a random. I hope you enjoy this react, we're going to hop right into it. And we're gonna show you some shenanigans about how I got Jonah's added. Hopefully the killer sticks around for a little bit. Yeah, see, I bring it up yet after, again. I, think. I was like, Beatnik hopefully our killer, hopefully our killer doesn't DC like last game because that was that was a little sussy baka. Vibing, vibing with the Jill. What do you do? What do you do? We are gonna skip ahead until uh, we find the beautiful moment we get to first interact with the homie, which I actually think is pretty close here. <laughs> no. We are going against the doctor. Right now, Completely forgot to tell you guys this. That I own. Let's go, dude. All right, here's our first interaction of uh, us being cheeky, breaky motherfuckers. So I blind him right off the rip. Homie, homie is just having a grand old time over there. I think my game was being a little framey on this day, and I have no idea why. Because it lo it looks a little framey to me watching him uh, in playback right now. Yikes. Bueno dog. I might have messed up there, guys, but it's all good. Because we got that new exhaustible perk on. We fucking out of there. And my game looks a little framey today. I do apologize for that, guys. I think there was something wrong with my, uh, my slobs settings. But I do believe we fixed it. Also, oh, really bad chase is really bad right off the rip. Oh, if I would have committed, I think I would have been fine. That was so weird. That dog had the weirdest lunch. Let's be oh, honest, guys. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at look at look at this lunch. Oh, if I would have committed. Lunch. Oh, this is a problem. Look at this lunch. Oh, it's like he knew I was gonna swing back into him. His head so is weird. massive. Fucking huge. Also, I feel like I've got like just a. Got a gigantic Brian. Like happening. Let's All right. My, uh, level's holding up. Take away my back. So. Oh, my PC's up, so. Good old. Oh, no. Good old homie over here. Fine. I'm gonna grab us. Thank you, Fang. Bye, Ty. Off we go to do cheeky it. What gun is that, by the way? Try and see if we can't find when we hook up with that killer the again. Unbreakable totem. Dropped our unbreakable totem. That's right. All right, I think we're going over here to help. Trying, trying to get some uh, some gang stuff in. I got distracted though because skill check glyph. I think I fuck up this first time. No, I didn't. I messed up ben before that. Messed me up. The totem of undying. There was, there was a, a glyph skill check that I didn't show that uh, was earlier in this match that I messed up. And I got lucky go. enough that I had to, I happened to run into it again. Alright, so we rub backs. Oh, right. okay, okay. Somebody goes down, gets hooked. <laughs> and we're gonna try and find our way over to the next time we have interaction with the killer. Life, how is there you saying? Friday is the same. Working on gens, working on gens. This is actually really funny. This part right here, I wasted a lot of his time. I feel bad. It oh, feels oh. bad, man. Look, he's got Tinkerer. Comes around there. And then he tries to play this car. Watch how long he lets me play this car, guys. Like, this is actually obscene. And then I realized, I was like, holy crap. I can actually see that red stain pretty decently underneath here. I was like, I, if he's not going to commit me, I'm not going to commit anything. There's no point. Confidence, the red stain. Let's put it down. Can you believe that? Who does that? Yo, what's up, Funana? And then, and then, and then hitting me as I vaulted that window is the equivalent of me getting a balanced landing with that new perk. So I was fucking gone. Yeah, yeah, you wanted nothing to do with me. I was literally across the map at that point for him. Totally understandable, right? Just saying. All right, all right. Where's our next interaction? Get that boon circle healing going. Oh, and then we ran right up to him because we're trying to help the homie. Right, we run around and we take a hit from him. There you go. Boop. And we out. So as you can see, I am being a little altruistic. All, all of us are doing fairly well with our loops. He's only got two hooks. There's two guns remaining. Like, the dude's having a rough game. It do be like that. It do be like that sometimes. If I were him, instead no, of doing what he does in the percent. end, I think I would have grabbed a survivor, put him on the hook, and basically sat on them or proxy camped them. Because that would have been the only way he got something something out of this. I'm a pretty altruistic survivor, so I enjoy saving people. 
So it would have been super out of realm for uh, for him to get one person and for a couple of us to go down. Uh, so that. I love saving people. I love saving people. All right, where's our next interaction here? We finished that gen down to one gen. All right, I'm back over to Circa the Healing like a savage. And we're going to run over there and try and commit to the homie. All right. Uh, is this our next interaction with him? I believe so, yep. So he's not he's not gonna follow us. He's gonna he wants this gen really bad because he the uh, down down to one, right? He's, he's trying to he's trying to keep generator pressure going. So he'll come back and forth, he'll do his thing. I'll go grab the homie. Da yeah, yeet. In endgame everything does get uh, pretty cheeky freaky. Oh that was that was yikesy, bro. Really bro? Yikes. Yeah, dude just left me. He was like I'm out. He missed that hit and was like, I'm out. I have no idea what that hit was about, but he gets those. I tried to fake it out, oh, like I was gonna drop the pallet, and then I was trying to make close, like, uh, like to extend that distance so his M1 wouldn't hit me. But he he had a good lunge, had a really good lunge. That also being said, so I'm just gonna run back over to Circle of Healing, heal up, and then run back over and take a hit. All right, I think me and another uh, flashlight user are actually here at this point in time, so we're doing some really cheeky breaky shit. Also, I can't flashlight right now to save my life. No click clicks for me. Bro, my click clicks so bad. <laughs> no click clicks for me. I'm trying so hard to help this lady. This dude does not go out of his way for me. He only wants that thing. Only wants that thing. He does not care about anybody else. I believe in. Got him. All right, so homie's down in the kill shack. Brother just came and popped that with overcharge again. I fucked that up because that's what I do. Oops. Dude's got unbreakable, I think. Either that or got picked up by a homie. I can't remember. But we're going to run in and do cheeky breaky stuff. We'll get a killer blind there. That'll be nice. Get him nice and confused. Like I said, he's, a, he's, a, he's having a rough time at this point in time, guys. So he's getting a little confused. He wants to... He's getting, he's, he's getting a little ego with it. And uh, he's, he's getting a little greedy. He's got that one down and he sees me being an asshole. So he's really trying to pressure both at the same time when she only go for the one. And then me and Jill, I think. Jill and I? I can't remember who's got, got the other click else. click, but we go for a double click click no. at some point in time, and it's actually pretty nasty. Like we don't we don't secure it, but it was it was funny. It was funny. Look at that. Would you look at that? It was funny. All right. Uh, so this is pretty much end game right here. I'm not gonna skip any more. I feel like we might end up missing some crucial information. But the end game the end game is pretty pretty yikesy, guys. We, uh, we get everybody out. Spoiler. Spoiler! Everyone escapes. Spoilers! Hmm. I'm gonna 99 this door. They're gonna grab the homie, or at least play around the homie. Door's open, so I was like, fuck it, no point in holding this. First dude is out of here. He's like, I ain't playing games. I run over, and I'm gonna try and take a hit. Uh, click, click like an asshole. Go, bro. I'll get one more click click in, maybe. Oh, I tried. Nope, but instead I will body block. Got you, fellas, a little bit. Looks back. Feels bad, man. Yikes, brother. Feels bad, man. I just. Oh, that's gonna be a yikes for me, dude. Here's the biggest thing I don't get, guys. If you're gonna play, like, like, and you're at the end game like that, like, people are leaving, and I feel the same way, like, when I'm killer kind of thing, like, like, if it's your first hook, why do you see you're just destroying your team? If you're at the end game, like, wh wh why? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you take that penalty and lose your blood points? Yeah, you had a really bad match, but you might as well get something from it. It just doesn't make much sense to me. But either way, yeah, I go through uh, and I try and kind of, like, check out his perks and whatnot. You know, I'm vibing. He's got a Mori. Oof. He's also on console. All I write is oof in the chat because, you know, I can't even see it anyways. But, uh, yeah. It's 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 a big feels bad man all around. I think he ends up having what? Does what does he have in the end? Three hooks, four hooks. He's got four hooks in the end. Bro, do it, dude, dude was having a really rough match though, and like honestly, he he did what he could have to try and secure something. But I think the only thing he actually could have done in this situation, when he put that person on the hook, this last guy right here, was should have done is sat on him and waited for somebody to grab and then interrupted them, pulled him right off and said, "Too fucking bad. This is mine." But uh, besides that, you know, he got, he got a little upset, spaghetti. He got a little impatient, and uh, he let a couple things get away from him. And then he DC'd, chopping all off. 
But that's going to be that for me, guys. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're enjoying uh, the new videos and uh, the new format that we're doing for them. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, don't forget to drop them in the comments. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to like the video. Maybe drop a little chubby poo. And uh, besides that, uh, catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash next underscore incendiary. I go live every day. Weekdays is 6.30 Mountain, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time or 8.30 Eastern. Uh, for about three hours and then weekends i try to go live at around two o'clock uh mountain time or 4 p.m eastern and we pretty much go all day sundays is kind of weird Sundays is weird. we go we go live sundays but yeah but yeah if you guys enjoy any of the content definitely recommend you stick around i just want to say i love you guys so much thank you for the constant support and uh hopefully in the future i got a little bit more uh salt for you i love you guys stay safe